Well, thank you, Liz, for being with us here today uh, to give us some tips on learning really how to pray. Um, I've, you said a beautiful prayer earlier uh, in the service, and I really do believe that I, whenever I see you pray, I, I feel like there's this authentic connection that you have uh, with God and that you really do believe what you're saying and that you believe that God is going to answer you. And there's just something special about your prayers. And so uh, I know a lot of my friends are, are scared to actually pray out loud because I think it comes down to they just don't know if, if they're doing it right. So I wanted to kind of demystify it, um, really just to help people to have a, a conversation with God and learn how to pray. So yeah. thank you for being here with us today. It's my pleasure, Jeremy. It's my pleasure. Prayer is one of my favorite subjects because it's a major part of my life. And um, so I'm happy to share what I've learned over the time and what fa the Father has revealed in his word about prayer. Um, you said it when you said conversation with the Lord. And that's what it is. It's communicating. Prayer is, yes, asking and requesting things of God, but it's also a two-way conversation where we say something and he says something. He sa we say something and he says something. And so the key thing is to realize that God is not this overpowering um, person or image with a stick waiting to hit us over the head with when we say it wrong or we do it wrong. <laughs> He's a loving father and um, that's the main thing I'd like to, one of the main things I'd like to convey to anyone who has difficulty praying is that know that it's your heavenly father you're speaking to who loves you beyond anything. I mean, he says in his word, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son um, so that whosoever, and we're all whosoevers, who <laughs> yes. believe on him will not perish but have eternal life. So right there you have the Father's heart. He said, ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and it will be opened. And, and that's his heart, access, accessible. He wants us to come to him. He says, come boldly to the throne of grace. So when we know what he says in his word, we know who we're coming to, we mm -hmm. know what he has said about how to come to him. And um, even Jesus' disciples, they said to him, teach us how to pray. So clearly it's a relationship, clearly it's about talking, communicating, and there's also a way to do it. Otherwise the disciples wouldn't have asked him and Jesus <laughs> wouldn't have told them. And yeah. he did. He said, when you go to pray, no need to go into a public place to be seen. It's just between you and the Father. So go into that quiet place and be with him in an intimate way. And then he says, there's no need to repeat or babble and say things that are just words that your heart and your mind aren't connected to, but to mm -hmm. be speaking meaningfully to him, revealing your heart. And then Jesus said, start your prayers saying, our Father, which art in heaven. And even here, he wasn't saying, this is what you have to say, but he was saying how you say it. The principle behind it is to come to the Father in the name of Jesus. He clearly says that in John 16, 23. He was saying to his disciples, look, um, I'm here now, and uh, all these three years I've been with you, basically. You've come to me with all your requests and all your needs, and I've supplied them. But the time is coming when he's going to go to the cross, and he won't be there anymore. Mm -hmm. He says, you won't need to ask me, but you go to the Father directly. Ask him in my name. So that's the first principle in praying, um, coming to the Father asking him in Jesus name. Does it mean we don't pray to Jesus? It means we have conversation with Jesus. We can be open hearted and, you know, just talk to Jesus. But he has said, go to the Father with your requests in my name and you shall have what you ask for. There's a confidence that that verse gives us mm -hmm. of knowing that when we pray, we can have the answers that we're asking for. And also in, in James 5.16, he says that the fervent and effectual prayer of the believer 
has wonderful results. So that's why I can confidently pray, all of us, we can confidently mm. pray to the Father in Jesus' name and know that he hears and he answers. In fact, we're to expect those answers and not necessarily, you know, they talk about shotgun prayers where you just sort of shoot things out there and hope that something happens, something <laughs> sticks. Jesus has given us specific guidelines. Why specific? Well, there are laws of physics that we don't question. If I hold something here in the, and I let go, we know it's going to fall. Well, there are also spiritual guidelines in the Bible teaching us how we can pray and that the result of that prayer will be an answer, an answer mm -hmm. from the Lord. Yeah. Oh, you, you've, said, you've said a lot of great principles <laughs> and strategies for us to learn how to, to pray. So I, I want to just uh, kind of go back just a little bit. I think the, the first thing that stuck out to me was you talked about it's a relationship. Yeah. Um, and I think about my kids whenever they come and they, mm -hmm. they ask things from me. I, I don't um, criticize them for how they come. Exactly. And I, I love them for who they are and, and where they're at. Yeah. Um, so that, that stuck out to me. Um, also that it is a, uh, that the Bible has principles. Yeah. We don't have to say our Father who art in heaven every mm -hmm. time we pray. No. But it's the principle of this, this is a way that you, that you can do it, how you should approach mm -hmm. God. And, and we should be praying to the Father mm -hmm. when we ask. We should be asking yes. uh, to the Father. Yes. Uh, I think that's, that's, that's important as well for people to understand. Yes. Um, well, I've, I've definitely I've seen whenever you pray, um, some things that stick out to me is that you typically will, you'll, you'll quote scripture. Mm -hmm. You'll say, um, Father, because you've done this, this, and this, I expect this mm -hmm. to happen. Mm -hmm. um, can you kind of give us a little bit of information of, of why you do that and kind of how that works, how that relationship works? Sure, sure, because the Bible is the Word of God and in it He reveals Himself. He tells us who He is. He tells us um, how to live. He gives us the guidelines for um, a, a life of a, a relationship, walking with him and walking successfully in, in this life. And as you said, with relationship, the more time we spend with him is the better we get to know him. Yeah. And so when I can speak the word, it's because we spend time with him in the word to know who he is, how he is, to follow the guidelines he's given us. Um, you're right when you say your children, when they come to you, you just want them to come to you. And the Father is merciful and gracious. And if we don't say it right, you know, he's not like, oh, you didn't say it right. He just wants us to grow in relationship with him and mm -hmm. not be babes when it's time to be um, not on the milk, but on the meat of the word. So he, there's a growth that has to happen, which yeah. happens in all relationships. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, when you started dating Ella, you know, your relationship was at one level mm -hmm. and then being married for a number of years now, you know each other a lot better because you've spent time together. You understand how mm -hmm. each one thinks. Well, it's the same with the father. So the more time we spend with him, you know, going into that quiet place, sharing our heart, listening to him, listening to him, watching what he tells us in his word, the better we get to know him and our relationship with him grows. And we discover, for example, uh, 2 Timothy 1.7, for example, he says, I've not given you a spirit of fear. So if I'm facing fear, I know, okay, there's a situation, it's a fearful situation, but he doesn't want me to stay there in fear. He's not mm -hmm. given me that. He's given us, his children, a spirit of power, of love, and a sound mind. Okay, Lord, so you've given me power, love, and a sound mind. And so I know I can say confidently, this is what my father has given me. And even if I don't feel it and it doesn't feel like, oh, I don't really feel confident about having a spirit of power, love and a sound mind. If he said it, that's his word. And mm -hmm. I believe it. And that's what faith is about. Walking yeah. by faith is not always understanding. But when we know his word has said something, we stand on that word confidently. Uh, well, Liz, you've given us so, uh, so many helpful tips and information that is really gonna, it's gonna help a lot of us uh, whenever we want to pray next time. So thank you so much. I think we have some more conversations that we need to have about this. 
to really just to, to dive deeper into having this relationship with God and speaking to Him. Uh, but you've really helped us a lot today. Oh, so I hope so. Thank you so much. It's we a really appreciate you. Thank you.